so now i want to take up a new topic that is your repos a completely new uh, topic called repository a databricks uh, gives you a version control on the notebook side also so let me take one notebook let me explain you that so if you open a auto loader suppose one of the notebook so databricks gives you a version control on the notebook side so here you can see here you can see a version history so if i just click on that i get an entire history on that table what has happened from that time and who got executed who are on this notebook i can see everything so if i click on this time you can see we have started we have started with just writing a command line and then we moved on to write a script uh, we we wrote this syntax and we write an input file and then output file we wrote this all so yes version control is made uh, in the notebook databricks notebook by default but this is a legacy one guys as a databricks itself recommends that this this is a legacy but in a real time scenarios we after we develop it we want to push our code to the git and from there we again uh, pull it into our production environment and where we start using it into the production and uh, real time scenarios but to do that we always recommend using it give, using any of the git provider by using any of the git provider so databricks uh, in a premium account only you get that option actually repository was in the menu here but now with a new ui that repository has pushed inside a workspace and now you can see repos option here so if you just open your repository here let me click on it and you can see there is no repos that are available here so now i am going to add a repository my github repository to this repos and i am going to push one of the a notebook that is auto loader or maybe any notebook to my git repository and i if i made any changes in this uh, notebook also i can commit it and again push it back to the git so this is what we are going to do hands on now so basically we are doing a continuous integration and continuous development by using a github okay let me sign in to my github account uh yeah i am just signing in let me check yeah i have my active account here and what i'll do now what i'll do i'll just create a new repository now uh, so i request you to please follow the same steps uh, on so now i'll open a new repository i'll just click on new repository and i'll uh, i'll be the owner of that and i'll just give a new repository name as hexa and i'll say development okay so this is for the exa exa development and i'll just click on uh, add a readme file and i'll just click on create a so let me click on uh, create a repository so our new repository is created now within my git account and you can see a uh, readme.md file is here and uh, the name of the repository is exa development so i'll just click on this code where i can see the url of my git so let me copy this url and let me come to my databricks workspace where i can add a repository here so here you can click on add repository or you can click on add repository also let me click on add repository and it will ask you to provide a git repository url let me provide a git repository url it will ask me to uh, it will by default uh pick up the git provider but you have various git providers you can see devops is there aws code commit is there and github for enterprise is also there so now uh it is set up now you can do a git configuration here uh git credentials you can see here no saved git credentials we will we need to set up some credentials here so but first let me create a repo here so yeah your repo is created and you can see there is one branch called as a main branch and you can see your hexa development repository in the main branch okay 
so now what i'll do i'll just go to my recent notebook and here i have an auto loader notebook i will clone this notebook in my repository i'll first clone this repos uh, notebook in my repository i'll click on clone i'll take up the users uh, sorry repository and in my repository in the exa development i'll just clone it i'll clone it so i can see my new file in the repository now so let me come back to my workspace go to my repository and in my account you can see you got a in this branch you got a injection file auto loader 1 so can we see this file in your git now no not yet because we have not pushed it so let me open this i'll show you the notebook everything looks fine i want to push this to my repository so how do i do that you can just click on this main once you click on it main you will get a new window popped up here and it says that okay in this you got a new notebook and these are all the new lines that are need to be pushed so here you can just click on if you want to push that in a new branch you can even create a new branch from the databricks side you can say that okay this branch is a development branch or a production branch and so on you can even create a branch but now let me push that in a new branch i'll just click on uh, a commit message i'll just write commit and push you can do this and if i click on it will fail it will fail i'll show you why it will fail because i have not i am not done any git integration uh, to my databricks account so first you need to do that integration and then command push this uh, notebook to the repository